got this thing all together. So, um, you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's I have a much different road than 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 everybody else in this room, um, and I'm fortunate in that world. But on the flip side, it means that much more to me. Um, watching today, Mark, I, it is it's it's an unbelievable thing for me because I know where Beachbody started in 2000. To see what you're doing now and to see what it's built into is always like, man, it happened, it happened. So when I've been able to see that, um, it, it's a huge, huge ordeal. So I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about today. You know, I, I, I was thinking over here, like, should I change it up? What should I say? Um, and I look at all of you out here, and one of the one things I want you guys to take away from while I'm talking is, just because I started in 2000, and just because I came into the company and I came from corporate, and then I shifted into a coach, doesn't mean that you guys can't become a CEO. It doesn't mean you can't make success in this business. It does not mean that, oh, he got there because he was there first. Because a lot of people that got there first didn't do anything with it. The person who was directly underneath me quit. What? I remember when he's like, no, nah, dude, it's not for me. I'm like, do you know how much volume is down below you? <laughs> like, dude, I'm like, dude, there's a million. He's like, what? And I'm like, there's so much. But he's like, not my thing. And I looked at him and I said, you, you just walked into corporate life again. You, you realize that. You are going back in it. So what I wanted to talk to you guys about was the why, the where, and the what today. And how that helped me kind of center around what happened and where I was at with, uh, with Beachbody and how it came about and where it was at. And, you know, the big part of, of your why, you know, and I know you hear this a lot, but I'm talking about super connecting to it. I'm talking about really getting in deep and not, deep and not just being like, well, my why is so I can pay my phone bill. I mean, I get it. And it's a great why. But really why? And I'm going to tell you, like, 16 years ago, my phone rang. 16. Not gonna hear that in a beach body room often. Okay? It rang and it said, Hey, um, are you Mike? It was a girl, it was from a local number. And no lie, I was like, uh, uh, yeah. And on the other end of the phone, she says, I got your number from a friend. Mind you, I want you guys to think about. I'm telling this story. How did you get involved in Beachbody? How did you guys get involved in a challenge for me? My phone rings. Someone calls me. A referral from a friend. She says, I got a fitness program. We're working on it. And I'm like, and I'm like what? She goes, yeah, I have this project. And I was just wondering, are you interested in working on it? And I'm like, well, what is it? She goes, well, this group of people, they're going to meet like six days a week, and they're going to be on this food plan, this nutrition plan, and we just need someone to like review the nutrition guide and, and, and go through it and, and give feedback to everybody. And I'm like, okay, so back, no Facebook, no MySpace, no nothing, barely any message boards. So you want me to, and I'm recapping this, you want me to talk to a group of people or a person about their nutrition and what they're doing because they want to make a change in their life. Sure. I'm down at the time on personal training. It's no big deal. I was like, it's money. It's not a big deal. And she goes, I'll send over these nutrition manuals over to you every Friday. You can go through them and be done with them. I'm like, great. So what did I do? First Friday comes. Out comes the red pen. I'm like, whoo! I'm like, teacher. Wrong, 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 wrong. Just all over. I don't even know their names. Tom, Mary, Larry. But I think everybody in this room, there's nobody in this room. Nobody. How can I be writing it? So I call up Heather Church and I say, Heather. I'm like, what's the deal there? I go, can you send me over a picture of these people? Because I need to know these people. She said, sure. She goes, I'll take a Polaroid. <laughs> a Polaroid? I'm like, sweet. Got paper clips and Polaroids, the sheets of people, journals. And I'm like, all right, yeah. 
The next Friday comes. I give a call. I give Heather a call again. I'm like, yo, Heather, what's up? She says, what's up, man? I've got a lot of work to do. You know, there's only 40 of us in this company. I'm wearing like 6,000 hats. I'm like, yeah, um, I need to meet these people. I have no idea who these people are. I really don't. Like, I see them. That picture has no depth. Challenge for this. Picture has no depth. So then she's like, sure, stop by the studio. They're working out. You can meet them. Why don't you go 20 minutes early, talk to them. 20 minutes later, talk to them. I'm like, sweet. She goes, yeah, I'll set it up for Thursday. I show up Thursday, and any of you who've been in a challenge group, any of you, you're like, yeah, the workouts are easy. I've got to put in a workout, press play, I'm in. Nutrition? Yeah. You're like, containers, counting, calories, height, weight. What am I eating? My mom makes beans. I can't get away from it. <laughs> you were like, wow. So you can imagine 30 plus people coming to me, the guy with the red pen, headhunting me, as well as you know wanting information through challenge groups. They want your time. So I turn around and I say to them, because I don't have enough time. I just don't. Can't get through 30 people in 30 minutes. It's impossible. I say to them, I go, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to come back tomorrow. My guilt kicks in. My empathy kicks in. I'm like, I'll come back tomorrow. It's no big deal. It's 15 minutes here. It's 15 minutes there. Well, that started to happen, and I started to come every day. 15 before, 15 after. 15 before, 15 after. And then what did I do? I started working out with them. I'm like, well, if I'm going to be there after a while, I'm going to sit here and watch. I'm a trainer. I should be working out. So I started to work out. So now I'm working out. And I'm going before and after. I'm talking to them. You know, and I'm helping out. And Heather calls me about uh, five weeks into the program. She goes, hey, Mike, I heard you're going to, like, every day. <laughs> Challenge group. Showing up every day. Working out with me. Talking about food. Show up every day. She goes, are you really doing that? I'm like, yep, I totally am. And uh, she goes, you know we're not paying you for that. I'm like, yeah, no, I don't want to be paid for it. I actually like these people. Like, I actually enjoy being there because they, they are there. These people that are showing up to this knew that it was an opportunity to change. Knew that whatever I gave them that they were going to use, that it was a gift. They were there. They wanted my enough. I mean, it was the easiest thing in the world. I just show up now. Well, fast forward into Heather. It's the last day. And she's like, hey, we got this shoot. And I'm still kind of out of it. Never heard of this thing before. And they're like, we got this shoot where we need to take before and afters. Challenge group. Mm -hmm. She goes, and uh, we have to do an infomercial on it. We need these testimonials. And she goes, and really what I need is I, I'm going to ask the, all these people questions. What they liked about the program, what they didn't like about the program, their changes, their lives, do they have kids, what, what's going on? She goes, and the only person that knows that is you. I'm like, yeah, I know everybody. I know everybody. I know all their struggles. I know what, what, their, what, what their ins, their outs were, that they could finally fit in the jeans, that they got into a dress, that their husband said that they were hot, that some guy got, is engaged now. Like, yeah, I know it all. open area to share. The importance of a challenge group. She says, great. She goes, let's come to it. And uh, she goes, I want you to be there. I show up. She goes, I want you to meet somebody. We walk down the hall. She goes, Mike, this is Carl. Carl, this is Mike. She's like, what's up, stud? <laughs> I'm like, nothing was up with you, dude. <laughs> and we just start talking. He's like, dude, so you're going to tell me about it? And I just start unloading on him. Unloading on him. Wait, you see what you got? You got abs, you got this, you got shoulders, you got a girl's gonna be in a black dress. You got, you got so, and he's like, whoa, dude, great. I'll talk to you later, dude. It was just so much because I was so excited. Well, Heather takes me back and we sit back in this, in, in, in this area with all, all the monitors and we're gonna start asking questions. And she just looks at me and she goes, you gotta come to work. She goes, you got it. She goes, I don't know what, what I'm gonna do. 
you are everything that beach body is. Everything, Mike. And we don't even pay you. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, well, whatever, I'm, I'm training them, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, because it's cool, monitor flights. I mean, Shalmar will tell you. Like, all of a sudden, it's cool, right? You're like, wow, it's a world I never thought how fun this is. And uh, I'm like, I don't know. She walks away, comes back, she goes, Carl says you got to work for him. <laughs> I was like, yeah. And at that point, I was like, I literally didn't think about it. And this is the way you guys can think about coaching. I just went too deep. I went, yeah, I'm in. Why not? What the heck? What could happen? You're going to give me groups of people that I get to train and do it. She goes, well, nope. You're going to be like a PA. Because that's all we really have as a production assistant. And I was like, whoa. Ego. Shot. But I went two feet in, just like the 39.95 for you guys to get in uh, inside challenge, inside coaching. That's really what it is. Mm-hmm. Not Shakeology, not monthly, not the challenge. It's 39.95 or 42 dollars. That's what it is to sign up as a coach. But I was two feet in. I was two feet in on that. We ended up in Beachbody. They ended up going in every day. 30 minutes early. 30 minutes late. I sat in conference rooms where meetings were, we're going to talk about production. Nobody got up. Now we're going to talk about fitness. Nobody got up. Now we're going to talk about marketing. Nobody got up. Now we're going to talk about, I don't even know. But nobody got up. That's how small the company was. So I'm telling you this so you guys understand the importance of a challenge group and the importance of your why. I knew why I wanted to be there. I knew why that I wanted to help people. I just knew. I didn't make it up. I just knew. And then looked at me and she's like, Mike, what are we going to do with you? And I'm like, I don't know. But I'll get your coffee every day. But I can tell you when there's too many reps and when we did something wrong and it's a bad cut and they said legs and it's on its head. I can do that. She's like, who are you? And I'm like, I'm just a guy who actually loves doing what I'm doing. And I left the job. I was making a substantial amount of money with training and other stuff. I was like, I just love this. And I was two feet in. I was two feet in and I knew my why. And I knew, now I know my ability to tell my story of the why. Mm-hmm. So if you guys can hone into your why story, really, really why you want to be a coach, why you love the products, why you love Shakeology, why it helped change your life, you'll never be selling, you'll always be helping. It's the same meetings. I watch Carl fight. While we were there, this is the where part of it, guys. I sat in meetings and watched Carl fight us. That cover looks bad. Too much hair. Hair's too short. I don't like the way he looks. Side picture, front picture, too ripped. I need more abs. I need all this. Fight, 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 fight. It was because he wanted to put out the best product that he could put out. The best. Had nothing to do with just selling. Nothing. He was two feet in. He knew where he was. Two feet in. And that's where we were. We were able to fight him. Trust me, I I had to stand up to him. I'm not saying I won. (laughs) But I knew where I was. And I knew that every time that I stood up to him was because I wanted products for you guys. Eventually, I wanted this company to be a billion dollar company. I wanted this company. I thought I was gonna gonna work for Beachbody forever. I'm like, I'm home. This is the greatest thing in the world. Summit to me, I get to see corporate. I'm like, what's up? (laughs) You know, everyone else sees their coaches. I see everybody in corporate and it's home to me. But I was two feet in to everything that I wanted. And that's where you guys gotta be. You guys wanna be a successful CEO. You want to be successful with your products, successful with your challenge groups, two 
feet. You gotta know where you're at. Think about anybody, who's had success with a product? Three, two feet in. Mm -hmm. I mean, you had the most success when you were two feet in. Not one where you're like, yeah, I only do it three days a week. Yeah. Or you went, I went Shakeology and a program. Two feet. You knew where you were. If you can get clear with where you are, you can get clear with this business. And it's okay to like, hey, you're not two feet in 24 hours a day. I'm not telling you that you have to do that. But these people that joined a year ago went two feet in, they're 15 star diamonds. They're their own CEOs. You don't have to be me, somebody in since 2000. You just have to be two feet in. No, you what? If, if you know that, you are in. I, I can't say that. I literally can't say that enough. If you can go, and if, per se, you have other jobs, I get it. I have many other coaches who have other jobs that are trying to leave. Laura, she wants to leave accounting so bad, <laughs> so bad. Let me tell you, she called me, Mike, I'm quitting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, Mike, when I quit, I'm calling you. You are the first call. I'm like, I hope I am. <laughs> um, what I'm saying is, just be two feet in when you coach. Be two feet in when you're dealing with the opportunity. Don't be two feet in 24 hours a day. That's overwhelming. I'm not even two feet in 24 hours a day. But I'm two feet in. And I knew it at Beachbody. <sighs> well, Carl came to me one day. And there was, you know, with every business, there's hyper growth. And with hyper growth, you just can drop down. He looked at me and he said, tapped me on my shoulder and he said, come to my office. And I said, sure. At the time, I was the host of the website, running all the test groups. So I run every test group. Every test group in general, up until Hammer and Chittle, I was running. So I know how to do before and afters. I know everything. Every phase that every person goes through, I know it. I see it. I know one week. I know two weeks. I know three weeks. I know what you go through at four, five, and six. I, I truly get it. Um, and he tapped me on the shoulder, and he says to me, hey, I need to see you in my office. Sure. So, sit down. He goes. He goes. With growth, you know, you you're susceptible to decline. I'm like, okay. And I'm just kind of looking at him, and I'm smiling because I'm watching him squirm. <laughs> I have. I have. I, the first time I've ever watched Carl squirm ever. And he's like, ah, he goes, man, you know, we're gonna lay off some people. And I'm like, uh, okay. And I'm still looking at him like, okay. And he goes. You're one of them. <laughs> and, and I go, I get it. Cool. He goes, cool. What? I said, yeah, I get it. Cool. I totally get it. And he goes, that's not, they, they, wait, they didn't teach me that in, in the HR meeting. Well, they, <laughs> I said, that's cool. He goes, you're not going to go nuts on me, are you? I go, no, not at all, dude. I go, I gave you everything I had. And I go, you gave me everything that you had. We'll work again together. And I said, how many people are you laying off? He gave me a number. I said, you worry about every one of those people but me. You and I will work together again. He calls me up as a consulting job another year later, asked me to run a couple of test groups. And in that process, he says to me, I've got this idea. I want to talk to you. He sits me down in his conference room. He goes, listen, I'm going to take the message boards because there was no Facebook, and there was no MySpace, there was no social media, no Twitter, no Instagram, no Vine, Vimeo, any of that. He goes, I'm going to build this coaching network. And I was like, what? <laughs> what is it? And he's like, and I'm like, yeah, never steered me wrong before. I show up to Beverly Hills Hilton. It's crazy. This half of the room? I'm talking suits, chains, I'm talking watches. <laughs> it was crazy, trust me. This half of the room, message board people. Like all like like we're the ones like we lost weight. The only thing that matters is before and after, is quality of the program. Forget that. <laughs> really, it's a trip. And half 
halfway through, you know, like we go through this thing, and it's like lights, camera, TVs, and pitching this thing at us with a big TV going, pick the little house you want to have. And we're like, oh, God, what just happened with each other? <laughs> Literally, what just happened with each other? And uh, um, they, they half, it was like halfway through the day, and they're like, network marketers were like fighting for us. They looked at us literally as chum, like, how many people follow this thread? How many people follow her thread, 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 thread? And we're like, <laughs> <laughs> so we end up, and we we, we, we head over, like, like they all break up, and then all of a sudden people are starting to talk to us. And we go over to Carl, and I'm like, Carl, it's like chum in there. We can't deal with it. Carl got rid of a lot of the network marketers. He was like, I can't run my business that way. That's what tell you where Carl's head is at. You're talking about a guy who's on the inside. You guys may be skeptic, inside. I lived each five on the inside. Became a coach. Why? Cost me thirty nine ninety five. It's true. I was like, it's an opportunity. What does that mean? It's literally what I bought for you. It's an opportunity for me to change my life because Carl presented it to me and said, Hey, do you want this or not? Want in? You want an opportunity to have your freedom? You want to have the opportunity to help more people, Mike? Want a bigger platform? I don't care. Yep, yep, yeah, yep. For how much? Done. 40 bucks. Slapped it down, moved it in. It was two feet in again. Two feet back. And then, guys, comes into the, the what? I'm going to give you guys something that I want to give you guys something just to take away today. It's the what. We hit on it briefly earlier, and this, this is a, a nice piece of tool for you guys to think about. There's a ton of us, especially when thinking as a CEO, okay? Think of it as a business, because at the end of the day, this is a business. We're helping people, but we still have to have a business hat on somewhere. There's a lot of us out there that have ideas, right? Have you ever had an idea? You know what changed the world? You know what I get rich with? <laughs> right? You're like, oh, they only made these sneakers. These, not, these socks. Oh, I don't want to buy them. And they're ideas. And your idea is only good if you believe in it. Your idea with Beachbody is your introduction to the product. It's an idea. How do you get them to believe in it? Use it. If you use it, you're going to believe in it because you use the product and you believe in it. You're like, it works. If you believe in it, you believe in anything. You believe in yourself. You believe in the idea of being a CEO. You believe in living a certain way, quitting work. <laughs> if you believe in it, you know what you're going to have? Which is being a product of the product. Spinning this as back as forth as much as I can give to you guys. Idea to belief. With belief, you'll always have two things. Passion and vision. Always. Look at Jenny. I know Jenny's got passion and vision. Right? You have passion and vision for this business. He started after me. He didn't have to start in 2000. Passion and vision. If you have passion, you will always have the vision. Always. Always. And if that happens, you know what else you have? The final component of that wheel? You have action. You always put action towards that belief. And when you stop believing, or when your beliefs stray, because they're going to stray in this business. This business is not all roses. When they stray, you know what you do? You go back into your beliefs. And you go back into the products. You go back into Shakeology. You go back into your upline. You go back into your personal development. You go back into your skill development. Your beliefs. And then you're going to have vision and passion. And you're going to have action. That's all we got for you. <laughs> All I ask, guys.
guys again to take a moment and just, just think about, you got to go like your why, your where, and then your what. And that's your belief. Take all that in consideration as you start to go through this. Trust me, it's a fun, fun, fun business to be in. 47 years old and I'm having the most fun of my life being a coach. And actually, I'm a leader, a CEO. That's it. Yeah.